With a color guard, a dinner, and a celebrity sighting, this gathering honored a pioneering group of first responders past and present emergency medical services employees and their supporters gathered at the Fire Museum in Bellflower to recognize the EMS agency for 50 years of service. It was a true pioneering effort, so we learned new things every day. The curriculum wasn't set in concrete, the program wasn't set in concrete, what we could or couldn't accomplish in the field wasn't really known, so it was a pioneering effort. Those efforts started at L.A. County Harbor General Hospital, as it was known back then, with nurses and doctors training firefighters to render medical assistance in the field. It was a learning process for everyone involved. I'd never seen a gunshot wound. I'd never uh, seen a stab wound that wasn't accidental. And certainly in my first night here, I treated a lot of those. Under the leadership of Supervisor Janice Hahn's father, the late Kenneth Hahn, in 1969, the county organized what would become one of the first paramedic programs in the nation. 50 years ago, my dad's heart doctor told him that um, if we wanted to really save people's lives, we had to take the hospital to them instead of having them come to the hospital if they had a heart attack. So that was the first idea of paramedicine. For the now retired county employees who took part in this initial program 50 years ago, today's gathering brought back a flood of memories. It's just nice to see the folks that you had worked with for so many years and generally you haven't seen them in quite a long time. It's very heartwarming. It's very, there's still the same camaraderie. It doesn't matter what period of time is gone. The camaraderie is still there. That first group of paramedics got a little publicity when they were portrayed on the TV show Emergency. Since then, the employees have changed, but the dedication to saving lives remains the same. We're constantly looking at protocols, new ways to improve care. Uh, we've regionalized so that we have trauma centers, STEMI centers, which is for heart attacks, um, and now stroke centers. From humble start to recognized leader in pre-hospital care, it's been a remarkable 50-year run for this dedicated crew. In Bellflower, I'm Anita Bennett.